Hello, hello, my name is Zorxy and welcome to another video. And today we're going to be doing something a little different. Where am I? Oh, that's where I am. Okay. Um, and today I'm going to be talking about how how Deep Broken affects my uh, thought of gaming in general on the Roblox platform. And uh, how it is negative and, not, and it's not its fault at all, right? And so basically my point is, is that Deep Broken kind of ruined my my sense of comparison to comparing games other than Deep Oaken on Roblox, right? Because if you look like, if you look at a game like Deep Oaken and compare it to things like, I don't know, say, Arcane Odyssey, which I, which I tried playing and I streamed a bit earlier, um, they're not even close, right? And that's supposed to, that's like a, that's a beta, of course, whatever, so on and so forth. But it's like, the amount of polish and it's basically, it, it entirely comes down to the fun of gameplay, and the smoothness, and all that. And it's it's just not close at all, and I, I don't think Deep Vulcan can properly be cons compared to other games in the same genre uh, as Deep Vulcan. Maybe GPO, but, you know, I play GPO, I'm not really that big a fan of GPO at all. It doesn't really, you know, it's got the same, maybe, core mechanics of attacking, blocking, and uh, parrying that... Uh, Deep Oaken does, but the fluidity in, in gameplay and the, uh, especially the feeling of, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, uh, the feeling of, oh, when you parry someone, the, you know, the dopamine hit, basically, like, how good it feels to, you know, be good at Deep Oaken. I'm not saying I'm good at Deep Oaken, but, um, just the, the sheer, like, fun of gameplay and, all that you you don't really get in any other game on Roblox, and that's why it's kind of ruined uh, gaming on Roblox for me. I can't play like other games. I mean, I can't play other games, but I'm like, man, this just feels worse to play than Deep Oaken. I don't want, I don't want to go play Deep Oaken, right? But the only thing holding it back is a lack of content, which is crazy to say because Deep Oaken has a lot of combat uh, content, right? But um, eventually, you're going to get bored, right? And for different people that's different times and different places and you know um for me it's probably a lot sooner than a lot of people there's a there's still ten thousand people playing deep Oaken, and it's 11 40 at night right now right so uh th that differs with different people but that's the only thing really holding deep Oaken back is that the lack of content and i think if it had more content and updates and such like that which I'm not saying this is feasible at all, and I'm and I'm blaming the game at all. Frankly, it has content every week. Every week you get oh I get a new mantra, oh I get a new talent, whatever. But uh, apart from the big updates, I don't really find a reason to be like oh man this new agility talent. Uh, I should come in back and play Deep Oaken because I I just feel like there's a lacking of things to do once you reach uh, power 20, right? You could be like oh I could grind for maybe it's like a 10 more health on something, or I could oh I could go for enchants, but what the thing is, is like, they made things easier to get, and they made it easier to power up, but um, in doing that, you also made people, you know, having to play less in the game, but I'd say the the changes of doing that is good, right, but you're also going to have people that are like, oh yeah, I reached power 20 or whatever, what do I do now, you know, what do, what do I do now, like, game over, and it's, and then at that point, it becomes purely like PvP. Because, you know, I'm not going to fight, like, an Alpha Sharko or whatever 13 times after I'm power 20. <laughs> like, there's not really a point to that. And, you know, once you reach Bell, once you get your Murmur and everything and so on and so forth, there's not a lot to do um, in terms of that thing. And I think a... a uh, I, I haven't done a lot of Layer 2, namely. So I can't really speak entirely on that point. So maybe I'm mistaking something. But... Um, when it comes down to that point, it's like, uh, you know, there's not a lot to do, basically, at Power 20. But uh, that aside, the point is that Deep Oaken ruined Roblox gaming for me, and I will never forgive it. <laughs> not really. Um, but it's hard to compare any other game, really, to Deep Oaken with its level of uh, combat, um, just basically fun how fun it is and the fluidity of combat and once you get in the cycle right and you get the parry dodge and you, you start learning the patterns of enemies and you start once you really get those down um it really becomes you know it's like a 
to kind of dance between like, oh yeah, I'm just dodging their attacks. And the trial one really makes it fun as well, because you're like, um, at least I'm in that midpoint where I'm like, oh man, I could still lose, but I still have it down enough where I'm not going to die instantly, which I've gotten to that point. So I'm not exactly the best of the game, obviously, but yeah, um, that's, that's all I wanted to talk about is just how, uh, Deep Woken is not really a comparable game. And if you want to message below to see if there's like, oh, talk about, oh, this game's like Deep Woken in terms of like the, the team behind it and just how, uh, clean the game is and so on and so forth. You can message it in the comments, and I'll, I can maybe check it out and see if I agree or disagree. But, uh, yeah, the main gist is that uh, Deep Oaken just kind of eclipses all other things for me in, time, in terms of Roblox, obviously. <laughs> you know, it's not going to be, like, actual, like, I, I play a lot of Elden Ring. It's not going to be Elden Ring for me, right? So, um, obviously, but, yeah, in terms of Roblox, I can't really find any other game that, you know, could beat that level of... Uh, polish and that's it uh if you enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe otherwise i'll see you when i see you because i don't upload regularly so goodbye